Hey, Vance, I have a question for you. All right. What does Jesus mean for you? What does Jesus mean for me? Yeah. I mean, when you hear the name of Jesus, what does that mean for you? Well, I think to start off, Jesus, for me, is the Son of God. Well, not just for me. I mean, that's just a fact. That's a reality that, you know, Jesus is indeed the Son of God. And not only that, I happen to be a Trinitarian, which pretty much means that I believe that God is a triune God. And for those of you who don't know, a tri basically what that means is that I believe that God is three distinct persons in one God. In the church, it's referred to as the doctrine of Trinity. We believe that God is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And that these are three distinct persons, but they are one God. And it's one of the greatest mysteries of the Christian faith. Because, you know, obviously, the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, and in the same way, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Son, the Holy Spirit is not the Father. You know, I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think we kind of get the idea. But basically, you know, God is the Father, God is the Son, and God is the Holy Spirit. So with that being said, not only do I believe that, you know, Jesus is the Son of God, I also believe that Jesus is God the Son, that he is the second person of the Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. So, and I also believe that Jesus died on the cross more than 2,000 years ago to pay for our sins because we are fallen, pre we are fallen people, you know. We are sinners, and, you know, no matter how hard we try and be holy and righteous, you know, we just can't do it. It's impossible. It's not within our system as human beings. So we need something to help us to achieve eternal salvation, and that's what Jesus did for us more than 2,000 years ago in Jerusalem on Mount Calvary. He died on the cross to pay for our sins. That's called atonement theology in the church. And I believe that, you know, without accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I have no salvation. And so basically that's what, that's what Jesus means to me is that, you know, he paid for my sins. He, he died on the cross to pay for my sins, but not just my sins, but your sins too. You know, he died for you, he died for me, he died for every human being in the world because, you know, every human being is created in the likeness and image of God. That is the truth, my friends. We are all created in the image of God. So, basically, that's the best way that I know how to answer your question. That that is what Jesus means for me. That he's the Son of God, he's God the Son, the second person of the Holy Trinity, and that he died to pay for all of our sins so that if we want eternal salvation, that if we want an eternal relationship with God the Father, we just have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and accept the sacrifice that he made for us more than 2,000 years ago on the cross. Vance, that is so incredibly beautiful. And I want to thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. I'm George H.W. Bush and I approve this message. And I'm Vance Dykes and I approve this video.